Yellow Wispy Paradox here with the first video of 2024! Ah! I'm sorry about that. I just. I just <clears throat> um, <clears throat> uh, exaggerations aside, uh, welcome to the first video of 2024! And it's not what you were probably expecting, but hey, whatever. Um, so, on with the actual content of the video. Um, I am currently working on a decently <laughs> big project by my standards. <laughs> um, this one has had several days of eff You have no idea how much time this dang thing took. Probably way too much work, to be honest, but such is life. <laughs> um, it's worth it, though. At least I hope it's worth it. Uh, um, for those of you who have paid attention on Twitter and are in the Discord server with the story time roll, you know you know what this is all about. Or you, even even if you don't have the story time roll, you just you know it. Um, or maybe hey, you're in a worry cord and you're looking at this video like, ooh, I wonder when this is happening. <clears throat> well, yeah, this is basically a video just giving some disclaimers before the reading. Uh, I did. I didn't want to do it in the middle of, like, a chapter video. Because I would just break the immersion at the start. I don't know, like... <laughs> um, at least in my experience, if I want to rewatch something or redo something, if there's, like, an annoying intro there, I wouldn't want to sit through that over and over again if I'm rewatching. I'm not saying anyone's going to rewatch or re-listen to this over and over, but that's just my mentality when it comes to that sort of thing. So I'm making this video to... <laughs> put those disclaimers here um, at the start of the playlist. I, I, hopefully, I put this in a playlist. <laughs> um, that way you don't have to watch it every time because you get the point. Um, I say that while being two minutes in. <clears throat> so, firstly, I had originally planned with these audio um, chapters, like I planned to have some voice, slight voice acting in there. Um, and I attempted that for, uh, for, um, chapter one was okay, but when I got to chapter two, it was a mess. And I'm just realizing that it's kind of immersion breaking. <laughs> so, <laughs> either I'm just gonna have very, very minimal to where it's basically like one or two characters, or I'm just gonna cut doing a bunch of different voices because as fun as that is to do i mean when i play video games i give characters voices I, for a read through for something that you're meant to listen to and be immersed into the story i might just keep my narrative tone engaging as opposed to trying to like give a ton of voice to characters that's yeah because after trying with chapter two i'm just realizing the different voices i'm trying to put in i just are not gonna it's it's kind of ruining the immersion so not not a excuse me not too jazzed about that <laughs> um I took a lot of thought with that and a lot of attempts and hours trying to record <laughs> with doing the voices and i finished chapter two but in the end i just i'm not happy with it so we're changing things up a bit you know because i don't want to break the immersion I want this to be as immersive as possible. Regardless of what you think of the story, <laughs> I still want the immersion to be there, since these are audio versions. I want it to I don't know, have the vibe of an audiobook. Um, of course, some uh, readers of audiobooks will give characters voices, and here and there, <clears throat> here and there, if I feel I can handle the voice of the character, then I'll do it. But you also have to consider the fact that I don't want the read-throughs of these chapters to take forever. The <laughs> the main point is to give you an, a more convenient way to read the story, essentially. So that's why I'm doing this in the first place. Because a lot of people like to procrastinate. So I'm like, you know what? Let's break that procrastination <laughs> and give you something to do in the background. <laughs> um, there's also just general reading problems. That's why I'm doing this. Just figured um. People who are having issues reading or procrastinate a lot, this will be a good help for you. Um, so, 
I will prioritize immersion over all else. The most I will do is have my narrative voice fit the vibe of the current part of the story. So if this is a tense moment, I'll make my voice kind of sound like tensed up or I'll sound sad or something like that. I won't like do it over over the top or anything like that, but I'll fit the, I don't know, the tempo, I guess, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'll fit the, mo the moment. Um, one other thing to keep in mind with these audio versions, they will take longer to come out. Now I have finished the, um, like I said on Twitter and ever, I'm animating something to go with it. So that way you're not just looking at a black screen or just reading text <laughs> while um, there's an animation going on. <clears throat> um, however, uh, these will still take longer to come out than the actual writing. So if you're impatient, you will have to just simply read and get your story there. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but that uh, is, but yeah, these are going to take longer because I don't know. I might want to add something to animation at one point, or something is taking a bit longer to read through than I thought it would. And also, uh, I work a job, so yeah, <laughs> I love working for uh, <clears throat> the uh, the system. But anyways, <laughs> that's just a little warning for you. If you want, to, if you're like hoping, oh yeah, these. These are going to release simultaneously. Nope. The writing is going to get posted first, and the audio is posted afterwards. So keep that in mind. Uh, I think the last thing that I want to bring up is... <clears throat> wow, that voice crack. Is... <laughs> um, <clears throat> so... Um, oh yeah, another thing before that. I might have slight stuttering throughout the read, but... <laughs> I am all, but don't worry, I am not going to leave every instance of me stuttering. 90% of any stuttering I do is going to just not be there. But I am uh, not a perfect reader. <laughs> I stutter over my, I stammer over my words at times when reading. So if you notice like a little like weird wording of certain sentences or whatever, uh, it might, um might be due to me stuttering a little bit trying to like read as I'm <laughs> as I'm speaking um, adding on to that this is not going to be a reading word for word thing <laughs> something else I want to disclaim <laughs> with after this which we'll get into wow I'm, I'm wording this horribly um, but yeah I'm not gonna read like every sentence exactly as it's written uh <laughs> i will sometimes ad lib a little bit just because i'm like i said i'm speaking as i'm reading so i'm <laughs> i'm gonna ad lib a little bit but it'll be the general text it'll basically it'll be the same idea <laughs> so don't like uh read along and go like oh god he, he messed up a word oh my gosh Th that's on purpose i'm not <laughs> i'm not trying to do a perfect read through this is not a professional grade audiobook or anything like that. <laughs> if I wanted that, I would actually uh, practice with professionals and figure and, and get all that set up properly. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just want this to be something that can help you read the story, basically. And if it help, and if it adds immersion to you, that's great. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna do um, a decent amount of editing to these audios, which is another reason why these are gonna take longer than the writings as I post them because I have to edit them because I want to put music and stuff like that in, just to give immersion as well. Uh, not give immersion, but add a mood. <laughs> give a mood for it. Um, the other thing, and <laughs> this goes for any writing I do ever. If I ever do more audio versions of writings I do in the future or whatever, this goes for it. Just period. I am very inspired by anime. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you right now, if you do not like anime whatsoever, if you despise it, I don't care. Do not read my stories. I'm telling you right now, don't. Just do not waste your time. I am I am unashamed. I am unashamedly, however whatever the word is, going to <laughs> insert my anime inspiration in there. Now, I'm not talking about like mechanics from anime. I'm talking writing style. Like the way certain things are written, 
you might be like, wow, this is kind of like an anime. It's because I'm inspired by anime. <laughs> uh, my, some of my freaking favorite written things are from anime. So I am 100% unashamed, unashamedly, again, whatever the word is, inserting anime stuff. <laughs> uh, now, granted, again, I'm not going to go complete balls to the walls, make it basically a written anime. That's that's not that's not what this is. I'm I'm more just saying my overall general style. You might feel some anime vibes. I'm not gonna have characters be freaking be have the power of God and anime on his side and just break through walls like a million hours. Like no, unless that makes sense. But no, I'm not gonna do all that. I'm more so referring to like my writing style, or if I. Um, write things a certain way. You might disagree with certain things. Uh, again, I am just very inspired by anime, and that is not going to change. If you don't like it, walk away. The door is right there. It goes both ways. <laughs> don't worry, I won't lock it. You can always come back. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just keeping that in mind, because someone pointed it out, and I, <laughs> I just want to make that clear. I am very anime inspired. If you don't like anime, walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> you are, it, this is not for you. Uh, heck, my <laughs> my writing style probably isn't for everyone anyways. So, but, but yeah, that is just your warning here. Do not invest yourself in this world if you do not like anime because I am unashamed. Love anime, fight me. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's uh, everything. Um, I think there was one more thing. Oh yeah, one last thing. <laughs> Some, like the this first volume that is coming next in the playlist, which is chapters one through four. Keep in mind, with this story, I am <laughs> pretty much aiming to improve my writing with each chapter. So you're gonna notice <laughs> Uh, decent increase in quality as things go along. I mean, that's subjective, obviously. But to me, you'll notice a <laughs> increase in quality as you read through the chapters. Yeah, uh, just keep in mind, chapters one through four are like, I wrote those months ago and I've improved a lot <laughs> since then. Uh, my show don't tell is a lot, <laughs> a lot more polished. Even if it's not perfect, it's way better. <laughs> uh, and my wording and just a bunch of stuff has improved. So, excuse if sentences sound weird when I read them. I am not editing these chapters again or whatever. I'm just do reading what I have posted. <laughs> um, and we're just going to go forward from there. So if, you, so, if you think like, wow, chapter one has some weird writing quality compared to chapter six. That's because chapter one was written months ago. And chapter six is a massively improved product. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Just keep that in mind. That there are going to be... <laughs> moments in the writing at towards the beginning that aren't gonna necessarily be the greatest but the overall story is how i want it to be so take it take it as you will um and i mean again it's subjective you might like chapter one more than any other chapter ever but <laughs> that's up to you that's all the disclaimers i have i went on for like 13 minutes but i just they, they wanted to clear some things up before you get in here and are like oh yeah baby <laughs> this is gonna be the best thing ever <laughs> Uh, yeah, just keep all that in mind, and without further ado, enjoy. <laughs>